Good morning. <laughs> yeah, so another uh, another fun-filled, uh, you know, Facebook Live. I'm going to wait a couple minutes. I know it's exactly 8.30. I, th I believe it's exactly 8.30. Yeah, my watch. It says 8.30, so. Uh, all right, well, I'm just going to I'm just gonna jump into it. So, hi. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Eric Dahl, and I'm with Dahl Integration Marketing, and we help business owners, both online and offline, build businesses that grow without them and run without them so they have freedom, not a job. Okay. If you want to learn more specifically on how we do this, how we help business owners do this, accomplish this very important uh, mission, go to www.fvmclass.com. It's a, a free webinar and I'll go into the nine step system that we use to help our clients accomplish, accomplish what I just said, right? Build, building businesses that grow and run without them. Okay. So, so let's just jump into this. So, you know, last couple videos I've covered, uh, step one and step two of the funnel vision method, right? So today I'm going to cover step three and step three, I'll give a quick recap. So step one is, you know, you want to track leads. Step two is you want to then convert those leads into customers. And then step three is you want to profit with a primary offer. Okay. A primary offer is the, the flagship offer. Okay. That, that, that you want to, that's the most profitable in your business. It's the, it's a proctor service you're the most excited about. It's, it's what you would have sold at the beginning. If, if it, you know, if we could actually have high conversion rates to do that, we would, we would start there. And that's how most businesses go about it is they will, uh, you know, I, I look at like almost like dating in some ways, right? It'd be like, as if you, you know, you take a girl out or, or guy, however you, however you go. And on the first date you ask, ask, Hey, we'll be okay to get, <laughs> get married. Right. Can we, can I marry you? Right. That's, that's how a lot of companies run their sales process. And you wonder why you have a, you know, 1% conversion rate or 2% conversion rate, right? So what I really want to help you guys do is understand the mechanics of how to build relationships and not just one-on-one, -on -one, but one-to-many, right? Because that's, that's, that's really key, this whole thing, is, 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 is you're, you're playing, really the game is a nurturing, it's all about nurturing, right? And giving valuable, you know, information, and solving problems, right? We're in the business to solve problems. <laughs> that, that's what it's all about. And so a 1% conversion rate is, is you know, you, actually I've, I've heard, I've heard uh, business, you know, business growth experts say, hey, if you have a 2% conversion rate, you know, you can have a multi-million dollar business with that, right? Which is, which is crazy. But the kind of stuff that I'm teaching you guys, you, you guys, you know, you, you can see 5%, 10%, 15% conversion rates. Okay, so those are how powerful this stuff is. So, so let's just jump in this. So, um, what I what I see a lot of companies doing, right, when it comes to selling their their primary offer, right, and, and I'm just you know talking generally. If it's a product or a service, really, it's it's the same same thing. Um, and how I'm gonna you know kind of treat in this in this uh, episode today. So, what I see is a lot of companies are still relying way too much on really not utilizing, I'll say they're not utilizing the technology that we now have. Okay. You know, since some, you know, some people, they've been in business for a long time and, and they're just having trouble, you know, adapting the technology. Um, but when you start to adapt the technology, what will happen is you're going to start to optimize and leverage your, uh, your offerings, right? So, when I start looking at somebody's offer, so 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 typically, most businesses don't even have a lead attractor, right? Most businesses, you know, they they kind of have a trigger offer, but a lot of times it's just not very effective. They don't package it right. You know, this is what we talked about last time. And when it comes to their primary offer, right, the thing they're actually trying to sell, the way they go about selling it, it's very inefficient, and it's very time consuming, and for the customer, it's it's something they they dread. It's like, oh my gosh, I gotta, you know, I gotta go through a sales process. Uh, you know, here we go, right? It's like I need this, but I really don't want. You know, that's why. That's that's really why that that whole expression where you know people say, hey, people like to buy, but they don't like to be sold. 
because the selling process in most businesses is very tedious and very time intensive, right? Especially service-based businesses. Well, really, even, even product-based business, sometimes you'll go, you know, you have an idea for a product and you go into the store and you spend all day there looking for the best deal because, you know, you just don't have enough education about, you know, what you're looking for, right? Um, so the, the, the companies, or I'd say that the businesses that really win nowadays in the digital age are the ones that understand that, that you want to marry both the offline and the online, Right, so you make your sales process uh, work for the people that want to come into the store, or the people that want to meet with you face to face, or uh, the people that just want to just stay in their pajamas and order online, because those are really the the, the two type of uh, customers you're going to get. Right, you're going to get the customer who just really doesn't want to talk to anyone. <laughs> I I'm, I'm in a hurry. I'm, I want to buy right now, and then you're going to have the person that that wants to sit down and, and have those conversations. You know. Um, and that's cool. You, you have that. So you want to integrate, you want to have an integrative approach when it comes to your, uh, your sales process. Okay. So here are a couple ideas for you. So the first thing I always recommend to my clients right out the gate, you know, of course, you know, we talk about marketing funnels, but I, you know, I don't really want to go into that quite yet. You know, we'll talk about that in, in, in later videos. Um, but one of the things that I, I really recommend you do is to go digital, right? And what do I mean by this? Here's some examples. Uh, instead of using a physical contract, go digital with it, right? There's, there's software nowadays that will, uh, email the contract digitally, right? To, in a secure, it's a secure uh, contract, secure form. It'll email that to, to the customer and they can sign it from anywhere in the world. Okay. They can sign the contract, right? So you don't have to worry about driving across town or sitting down with them, getting together with them. Okay. You don't have to worry about any of that, right? So that's, that's pretty cool. Another thing is order forms. And not just your, your primary offer. I would say overall, you know, make sure you have order forms for all of your products and services, right? Because that way, again, you turn your, your business into a machine that can uh, make it possible for people to purchase 24-7, 365 days, right? They don't have to talk to live persons they don't want to. Right, so you want to make these things accessible, right? The only way to do that is to actually leverage technology. Um, the other thing is sales pages. So sales pages are awesome, okay? Because a, you can recap the offer. You can have videos on the sales page. Um, you know, you can you know have other details, you know, terms of service, whatever. You can do a lot of a lot of you know a lot of the uh, heavy lifting can be on the sales page. You know, and. And, you know, a lot of times if you're a service-based business, right, you might, you might talk to the client, but, hey, you give them the link for them to order. Let's say it's a phone call, right? I do it all the time. I, you know, I'll have consultations on the phone, and I'll send, I'll send them an order form uh, with uh, some link, okay? So that's a completely different than, than I, I would say a lot of businesses, you know, uh, do, right? They don't, they're not utilizing technology. And so what they do is, um, see, see, they slow down because they don't understand this, they slow down the, the sales process for themselves and they make it inconvenient for their customer. See, see how, how this goes? So the goal is we wanna make it easy, we wanna make it convenient so that our customers can, can purchase easily, okay? Um, you know, I always joke that I'm in the business of helping my clients become order takers because that's exactly you know, what we want. We, we don't want to sit there and try to convince people all day and everything else. So we, we create this marketing system right? Like we did in step one, we created a lead attractor, you know, then we created a step two, a trigger offer. Then now, you know, we're, we're optimizing our offer. Um, we do that because we really just want to be order takers at the end of the day. And we want to be able to handle, uh, 10 times, 20 times more order, orders. <laughs> okay. So we can really explode our, our business. So that's for, that's very key. Okay. Understand that. Um, the, the other thing I always recommend as well is video. Okay, you want to use video to sell more. Wherever you can, you, you want to have video. So uh, it can be a blog post. Um, it can be, you know, let's say you're, you, you do have a consultation, right? Uh, you can have video leading up to the consultation, right? Via email, you can send out emails. Um, all these things to help, you know, pre-frame 
the sales process, expedite the sales process. A video, you know, like they say, is worth a thousand words. And here's another, another interesting thing. Uh, starting next year, um, video is going to account for about 90% of traffic. So if you're not using video, that's the problem. And that, that's why I'm, you know, I'm, I decided I'm going to get really gung-ho on Facebook Live. Because we all want, we all really need to get good on video. We need to be able to, just like this, I mean, this is really unscripted. I'm just getting on, you know, getting on the the, uh, the camera and just, just recording. We have to be able to do these things because uh, right now it's probably about 70%. You know, video is probably about 70%. Starting next year, it's going to it's gonna be the 90%. And then the following years after that, you know, you, if you have anything text-based, it's probably not going to be taken seriously or looked at. Okay, it's not, you're not going to be able to compete with just text anymore. It's just, this is what's happening, okay? Uh, so we want to be ahead of the times. So we so we want to make sure that we're, we're integrating video into our, our sales process, our customer service, our, our general marketing, okay? Very, very critical, so video. Uh, the other things, the, the last thing to look at is the offer itself, okay? And this is what I do with a lot of my clients. Um, it's a big part of what I do is I help them optimize their offers, not just their primary offer, but their lead attractor, their trigger offer, you know, you know the, 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 the whole funnel, right? Um, I help them do that. And so here are some things just to kind of, you know, help you think about your, your offer a little bit. So this, just, just keep these in mind when you look at your offer. Um, you know, the first thing I look at is, okay, does it have a cool name? Okay, does your offer have a cool name? Right, because if it's just you know boring, hey, I, yeah, we have this uh, X Y Z service or this X Y Z product. It's like, oh, okay, sure. You know, you 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 want to have some cool names, okay? Um, you know, I, I have a three year old, and and we'll be watching TV, and it'll be one of those cartoons, you know, or not, not yeah, you know, a cartoon, but it'll be an advertisement on toys. And these toys, man, they're so dramatic. The names, I mean, it's like the Super Two Thousand you know, whatever, Barbie, I mean, just crazy, but, but that's a good example of how you, you know, you sell, it's like, you want to create cool names, because the cool names pre-frame, right, they pre-frame the, 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 the sales pitch, <laughs> you know, so you want to think about that, do you have a cool name, right, when, when you talk, when you talk to your customers, your leads, your prospects, do you have cool names for your offerings, really key, um, the other thing is just your presentation, right, is, is your presentation exciting, or is it boring, Right? Is it engaging, or is it one-sided? You're doing all the talking, and, and the other person doesn't talk. Like, what what's the presentation look like? Okay. And again, are you using video? Again, really, really critical. Now, uh, the other thing is you have bonuses, because bonuses are are a, play a crucial role in generating desire for your offerings. So, so are you providing bonuses? So, bonuses are extra value that your your clients. Or your prospects isn't um, isn't you know isn't expecting. It's like oh wow you're gonna throw that in there. You're gonna throw that 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 piece in there. Um, so a bonus is, is super uh, you know super crucial and and that's 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 missing a lot of times from a lot of offers that I see my clients. And then also deadlines. Does your offer has a deadline? Right. Because if it doesn't have a deadline, then then by human nature we you know, we like to procrastinate. So we'll put it off. We'll put the decision off as long as we can. So you, so you always want to keep that in mind and always have deadlines for your offers. Okay. So I go into more detail about this, you know, about, about, you know, creating offers, about, you know, uh, uh, you know, sequencing your, your, your offers, your follow-up, uh, your whole marketing system, your whole, you know, your, the whole way that you run your business. I go into a lot of detail about how to really create a machine that can really run, uh, run without you, grow without you. Um, and if you want to learn more, it's a nine step system that I've, I've designed that I've proven. I'm helping uh, numerous businesses uh, implement. And you can learn more by going to www.fvmclass. That's fvmclass.com. It's free, absolutely free. It's a free webinar, but we go deep. Right, this isn't just like a like a pitch webinar where, you know, you sit there for ninety minutes and it's just a sales pitch. This is like real value. Uh, I could charge for this information if, if if I wanted to, right? So so you're gonna get a lot of info around about it, um, or a lot of value out of it, I should say. So 
So if you get a chance, go check that out again. That's www.fvmclass.com. Okay, so let me just tell you a quick story to just illustrate what we just talked about today. So one of my clients, okay, I've actually had, you know, various clients that kind of gone through some, you know, some similar things to this, but um, this client in particular was actually losing business uh, because of their sales process. Okay. And, and what happened, what would happen is they'd get a lead. Somebody'd be interested, but because they were dealing with everything physically, they had to meet with, a, they had to meet with a client. Um, so they had to find a place to go meet with them. Um, if they were from out of town, there's just no way, you know, to, to, you know, connect with them at least in a timely fashion. Right. And so, so because they were still dealing with physical contracts, it really made their, uh, their ability to close deals very challenging. And so what I did was I introduced this idea. I said, Hey, you guys need to go digital with this. And so when they went digital, in, in other words, they created, uh, they, they converted their forms, their contracts, uh, digitally, right? They use software. Okay. And this is, you know, if you have any questions about, you know, specific software and stuff, you know, you can leave that in the comment section. Right. Um, but go, you know, I told him, hey, go ahead, you know, create these digital forms. And that immediately doubled, at least doubled their their sales volume, okay? Because it just made it so much more convenient for them because they didn't have to chase chase customers anymore. And those customers didn't have to go somewhere else because they, they thought that they weren't getting what they wanted in a timely manner, okay? So speed is such a big part of this. So when you, when you, when you go digital, right, when you start leveraging technology, you'll see that... Um, the the sales cycle itself will be reduced just because of the the technology you're leveraging okay so really think about that that's what i want to end on is are you are you leveraging technology enough in your sales process and that goes for you know the the storefront you know your product base and you have a storefront you know you should have an e-commerce store that's that's selling for you 24 7. Um, if you're a service-based business you know you should have you should have your calendar being booked 24 seven. Okay. You should have a sales, you know, uh, proposals, contracts going out 24 seven. All those things are possible. Now we have the technology and, and it's not, it's not expensive. Most of it's really cheap. So there's no excuse. So anyway, if you guys are interested in learning more, okay. About building your business, growing your business more effectively, more efficiently, then I really highly recommend you go to www.fvmclass.com. Do that today. Check check it out. And if you have any questions, again, just just leave it um, in the comment section. Okay. Um, you know, we'll we'll I'll make sure that I uh, you know answer those in the next videos. Okay. And it's Wednesday, right? We got through it. We got we got through it. It's Hump Day, right? It's hump Day. You know, of course, you know, we know as business owners, we none of that really matters <laughs> because a lot of times we're, you know, we, we uh, you know, if we're not working on the business, we're thinking about the business, right? So it's not really, you know, I think it's kind of more of an employee thing. It's like, oh, it's hump day, you know, or TGIF, it's Friday. It's like, none of that stuff matters. <laughs> none of that stuff matters because we're always, we're always thinking about our business. We're all, you know, we're always, uh, the you know, looking at, you know furthering our, our self-development thing. So, so we're always working, man. Um, but I just, I just hope that it's productive, right? It's not the grind, right? That's what I, I want to help my clients get out of is, is that, you know, we want, we want to have a lifestyle. We want to have fun, right? We want to do, we want, we want to do cool things with our families. We, you know, we want to enjoy our hobbies again, right? That's why we, we got into business in the first place. It's like me, I'm, I'm getting ready to go get my work done in, right? It's eight 30, but Hey, you know, um, I mean, that's, that's, that's really key. You know, we got to, got to stay healthy. Right. So, all right. So with that, you know, I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Have a good Wednesday. All right. And again, I'm Eric Dahl dedicated to helping you build a business that grows and runs without you. So you have freedom, not a job. Talk to you soon.